Who's asking? Lady Celeste Reborn, Knight Errant of the Steel Cistern, earthly instrument of Kamal Most High. Steel Cistern? Like that just Night Spear Steel Cistern? Oh, snap! What brings a Steel Sister all the way to far flung Darzovia? I am sent on a holy errand from the high city of Trium. It is not my custom, however, to answer impertinent questions from stooped old men at the castle gate. Oh, paladins. What's your alignment? Uh, my own business. Oh, lawful jackass, right. I have given you my name. Will you not give me yours? And pray tell me what an elf of Melendor is doing here, armed and unhindered. I'm called Rael. Do you speak Elven? <laughs> no. Lady Celeste speaks common and is happy with that. Well, then I guess you don't get to know what my cool name means. It means outcast. No need to introduce myself, of course. Doubtless, my reputation has long preceded me. Probably just stares at you, maybe blinks once or twice. Captain Fletch Stonehand, Dread Pirate, Reconteur, Man of the Ladies. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, the most important question, how hot are you? Not especially, I don't think. Super pale, really unflattering haircut, high cheekbones, I'm a typical ice queen, plus like a huge fucking flail. I can dig, my lady. For you're both beautiful and unlooked for like a rose in the dead of winter. Indeed. And what of you, Greybeard? Here we go. By many names I am known. Everybody buckle up. What? And my name is known by many. What is about to happen? He does this twice a session, I swear. There's a whole spiel. Ask a nomad of the plains of Nostastan and he will call me Nahadir. To the elves of Melindor, I am known as Hrovingor, learned in dark wisdom. During the reign of the rebel duke, Vlasimir was the name they gave me. When dragons ran rampant across these skies, they became Dracondai. I am Stormseer, the Viridian Eye, he who sleeps unsound. I am the sheathed sword drawn by this land when doom comes to its gates. But here, in this place, in this time, those who have awoken me from my slumber beneath Craston's Hill know me by one name. My oldest, truest name, Zydromedes. Can I make a constitution check? To... Stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's six. Yeah, you start nodding off. Does everybody maybe want to do a physical description quick for Max Benefit? You want to start? Sure. Like I said, Lady Celeste is a human woman dressed in full plate armor that probably really resembles the Duchess's with the symbol of Kamal in the front. The same symbols on her shield, which she carries on her back, and even the head of her flail is sort of made in the same image. Blonde, unflattering haircut, really pale, like I said. You'd also probably notice that there's something kind of odd, like stiff or lifeless about her. Her movements are a little robotic. So yeah. Uh, Fletch is probably the most handsome half-orc you've ever seen. He wears like dashing swashbuckler's clothes, big coat, sash, all that shit. Uh, ocean blue bandana on his head, rapier on his hip. The most obvious thing to notice about him though is probably his stone hand, frozen in a sort of desperate clawing position. Can you move it? Like a little bit. Mechanically, he decided it doesn't affect me, but if I'm not thinking about it, it sort of just reverts back to this position. Weird. Is there a story there? Presumably, but Fletch has no memory of it. <laughs> Who's next? For Zydromedes, just think of like the ideal version of the Odinic Wanderer. Okay, so Gandalf? I mean, he's different than Gandalf. Sure he is. Well, actually, the Odinic Wanderer archetype predates Gandalf. It's a big part of Norse saga. It's definitely what like Tolkien was like alluding to, sure, but it's not really fair to say that they're the same thing. Well, what does he look like? I mean, it varies. He basically reincarnates, right? In this form, he's choosing to appear as an old man. But that's gray the... robes? Yeah. Gray beard. Yes. Wooden staff. Look, I understand what you're so Gandalf then. Sure. Whatever. If that helps you. <laughs> and Greg? This is... Right, yeah. That was easier than describing everything. Not that hard. 
Legolas, right? Oh, come on! You draw this? God, no. My wife, actually. She's still waiting to draw everybody else's, too, if they'd, you know, send her their character description. Yes. Well, didn't I not send her my okay. thing? Your thing, dude, is 31 pages long, all backstory. There's a physical description in there. Somewhere. Now that we are all acquainted, if you would point me in the direction of the Duchess, that I might complete my errand. And what errand might that be, pray? Can I make some kind of like sense motive check? On Zai or on the party? I think on the party as a whole. Lady Celeste doesn't know them. They're just weirdly standing in the castle lobby. One of them's an elf who she thinks are at war with Arzovia. That'll be a wisdom check. Are you trained in insight? Um, oh, I totally am. Make sure you add your proficiency bonus then. It's this number here. Oh, right. Uh, plus five. That's 17. More than enough. What do you think? How trustworthy are you guys? Super trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> Zydromides is certainly suspicious, but he wants to believe that you're here to help. Right, L2. All the racism's not helping, though. Okay. Well, in that case, I think she'd just come out and say it. The Threefold Church has dispatched me to investigate disturbing rumors out of Darzovia of one of our order performing vile acts of fell magic. Oh, I wondered. You speak the truth, it grieves me to say. In her desperation to defeat the elven enemy, our Duchess has turned to sinister means. She's not actually an evil spellcaster, though, let's be clear. She just has advisors who are probably evil spellcasters. The rumors speak of a wasteland created by dark magic called- The Wound. Aye. That is its name amongst the common folk. The Duchess, against my advice, broke the obsidian mirror of Arlek Ra to achieve this effect. <laughs> to stop the advance of a huge elven army, let's be clear. Which it did, but at great cost. Lady Celeste will kind of scowl at you. You are quick to defend her, Grace. She is my lady love, the bright star in my night sky. She is your jailer. Was? It is true, I spent some time in the dungeons, yes, but the Duchess just found me so handsome. She came to visit me every day in the cells. Sure she did. And what of you, Zydromedes? Why concern yourself with the fates of these petty mortals? My own fate is tied for all eternity to this land. Whenever danger threatens, the desperate may always call upon Zydromedes, where he sleeps beneath Creston's Hill, and he will come to their aid. Much as I have done when summoned by those you see before you. <sighs> I committed a crime in service of the Queen of the Walking Wood. A crime that left an innocent Dozovian child dead at my feet. Afterwards, I fled my homeland and offered my service to the Duchess in atonement. Whoa. Jesus, that's some heavy shit, Greg. What, did you guys not know that? No, not until that just was now. Wow. Rael looks to the floor and says, no more on the matter. Hearing this, Lady Celeste maybe like puts a hand on Rael's shoulder. I am not called the reborn for nothing. I too know the price of repentance. One ill deed does not define you. Props on coming clean, man. You've been holding that backstory stuff for a while now. Very cool. Now, if there is nothing more to delay me, I will see the Duchess. Be my guest. And Fletch steps aside to usher her up the stairs. Nothing else I should know before I go barging in there? Nothing about... <laughs> oh, right. Uh, watch out for the Viceroy, basically. He's a creeper. Okay. Would you mention the tongue thing, specifically? Sure. We know the Viceroy is something more than what he seems. Something more sinister. Okay, and... We don't know. Like, we know he's a snake guy or something, and we know that's bad. Just not sure what to do about it yet. Besides, like, just attacking him, which the Duchess wouldn't have. <laughs> right. Well, in that case, I think Lady Celeste will just march up, not waiting to see if anybody follows. 
do the rest of you follow? Zydromedes probably looks back at the stairs and sighs. Are we this is wise? When seven no centuries idea. has you... what happens. Lady Celeste, in all that full plate, you huff and puff your way up the spiral staircase of the Tower of the Hippogriff. You guys probably have a tough time keeping up even with all my armor. Girl, I on a mission. <laughs> About three quarters of the way up, however, you bump into another party coming back down the stairs. Viceroy Casimir. What are the odds? I blow right past him. You maybe slam into his shoulder and he spins, nearly losing his balance. He'll glare up at you as you thunder past. Who in the name of the Holy Three are you? And where in the name of the Holy Three do you think you're going? I'll maybe turn a half shoulder, right? Lady Celeste Reborn, Knight Errant of the Steel Cistern, Earthly Instrument of Kamal Most High, to see the Duchess. And I keep going. She's with us, Viceroy. He turns a disdainful scowl at you. I might have guessed. Well, I don't care who she's with. She'll show some respect to the Duchess's most trusted counselor. Viceroy? I'll look back down at the group and kind of point. Alan, does my divine sense ability tell me anything about this guy? Do you want to use one of your daily uses and see what happens? Go ahead and uh, describe what it looks like then. I don't know. Maybe there's like this sudden light and maybe even a slight breeze that like blows Celeste's hair and makes her eyes glow. Like a shampoo commercial. <laughs> totally like a shampoo commercial. <laughs> then yeah, I should be able to tell if there's anything weird or magical or evil about him. Yeah, he's a fiend. I'm sorry, he's a what? Well, I should say, uh, he has a fiendish presence. There's definitely something very ancient and infernal about him. And evil? In Lady Celeste's experience, sure. Then I draw my flail and attack him. What? Hey, Wait, whoa, you do that? You whoa. actually do that? Then I guess give me an attack roll. Now, wait. We know this guy is evil. We told you that. If you attack him, that's going to screw up everything that we've got with the Duchess. I mean, maybe. But Lady Celeste is here to ferret out corruption. And here's some fucking corruption. Oh, yeah. That's a hit. Can I make this a divine smite? Jesus. Sure. What's the total? I mean, are we just going to let her do this? Um, I think that's she already did, man. <laughs> if she starts a fight with this guy right in the middle of the castle, the Duchess is never going to trust us again. Oh, nice. It's not even us, though, is it? Uh, it's her. Damage? Yeah, but I don't know. I like it. Uh, that's 10. What? Oh, plus my divine smite damage. It's not like we had any yeah, idea what to do with Casimir. Well. At least this first will settle the issue. We spend too much time eight. not attacking bad guys for We'll just do first reasons. level. I feel like that's probably enough. Um, so that's 12 which makes 22 total damage, radiant. Describe your attack. I'll just go, Kamal is all. Caught completely unaware as you slam the Viceroy in the side for 22 points of radiant damage. <laughs> Roll initiative. 